What's going on y'all? This is Czar. Uh, I want to give you two quick tips on recording vocals to two track mixes or uh, two track beats. So, you know, you're done with your beat, you slam it at zero with a limiter, and now you're ready to record vocals to it. Uh, so, two things that I do uh, to pretty much every two track mix that I get to record vocals to is uh, one, I handle the bass, and two, I turn it down. Uh, so I've got a track here uh, from my good friend Marco Dane, uh, amazing producer. I'll put his information in the description so you can check him out. Uh, let's take a listen to this track. Marco Dane. And actually, so you can see it on the meter here, we're hitting uh, slamming right up against zero. Okay, so since we're hitting zero here, um, and of course zero is as high as we can go uh, without clipping in the digital world, uh, we don't have any headroom or any room to record vocals on top of this. Um, also, you hear that there's a lot of bass in it, uh, so I want to deal with the bass first. So, uh, the reason we want to deal with the bass, because the bass will come out of the artist's headphones right back into the mic, and you'll end up with a headphone bleed. So, the way I deal with that, very simple, is to take a EQ, and we're going to set it to shelf, and let's dip it, let's, uh, do 6 dB here. Marco Dane. And with the shelf out. Marco Dane. So taking that bass out uh, will help you get um, or help reduce headphone bleed because uh, because those low frequencies, like I said, they'll come right out of the headphones, right into the microphone you're recording to. And the second thing I do is, like I said, turn it down. Because uh, we have no room to record vocals on if you're hitting zero. So I take the mix tool, and there's a nice preset here, negative 6 dB. And it just turns the gain down 6 dB, which will then give us 6 dB of headroom to record vocals on top of this. Uh, I start at 6. Uh, for this, let's just, for example come down a little bit more. Anywhere between 6 and 12 is where I will bring a track down to. The reason I use the mix tool for this is if I want to get it back at zero, I can just bypass the mix tool rather than bringing the fader back up to zero. Uh, so let, let's uh, take a listen to it now. Marco Okay, so uh, you can see we are uh, quieter here. It's not showing on the level meter here because the level meter is first in the plug-in chain. Uh, so just so if we bring the level meter last, and now play it. Marco Dane. With the level meter, we'll show our, we'll show our softer signal. Um, but yeah, bringing the level down and recording vocals on top of that, you'll have a lot more headroom to record vocals to. And I think that that's the reason why you know, a lot of people record their vocals too loud is because they're trying to record vocals over a track that's already at zero. And once you turn it down, um, if it's too soft for you monitoring wise, all you have to do is turn your monitors up louder. Or if you turn it down and it's too low for the artist, uh, you can turn them up in the headphones, uh, of course, without increasing the overall gain uh, of the track. Uh, so, you know, use the uh, low shelf to bring your bass down, or use the mix tool or fader um, to bring your gain down and give you more headroom there and uh, promise you your vocals will come out a lot better. Alright, catch y'all next time.